Okay, today I've been asked about my urban sketching kit. There's not much to show. Everything fits inside this small canvas bag. In the bag, paint box. This is a very old Windsor Newton Bijou. Don't think they make it anymore. Twelve containers. I think I can't remember whether they were for pans or tubes. I always squeeze out from tubes. Never use the pans. Not sure why that is. Comes with a little ring, which I never use. Instead, I have a piece of elastic tape to it. A little flexible water container, which has two cable ties fixed to it, which means I can fix it over my finger, like so. <laughs> it works for me. Uh, Lamy Pen Noodler's Waterproof Ink or my Bic Velocity 0.9mm pencil or Stadler's Pigment Liner Filter Pen or Sharpie Ultra Fine, another good pen and finally the uh, brush is an Escoda Reserva lovely sable brush quite small only a number 8 but good paper is can be a pad or loose sheets this particular one is just a, a bunch of individual scraps of paper that lie around the studio bunch them together paint on them if, I find that if I go out with a, a a moleskin pad for example you know it becomes very precious and you want to do your very best and don't like that that's, that's inhibiting my fun factor so I just take loose sheets of paper I cut these up from a full sheet of Waterford Saunders 300 or 450 probably for small bits of paper 300 would do and as far as I'm concerned the manufacturer thinks that you're going to have to stretch that so he has front and back covered with a layer of size and to my mind that needs to be washed off this gives me a much better receptive surface if you don't wash the paper it will resist the paint it will um, when the paint dries it will be lighter and not anywhere near as vibrant whereas if you wash it the the vibrancy sticks stays and the painting is darker and richer that's what I find um, bigger pad that looks heavier paper that's 425 so I mean, and you could actually hold an individual sheet of that and make these little pads which pull together or you can fit them together again easy peasy so on a rare event that somebody wants to buy one of these on the street you know not a problem and nor are they precious remember the last one I sold this for a euro <laughs> in the middle of Dublin no Galway what else is in the bag um, spare water drinking water watercolour water and maybe a microfiber towel or tissue that's it that's my urban sketching kit which I will stand I find you can stand discreetly with this unlike if you had a, a palette uh, an easel and a chair you're going to look more conspicuous and draw attention to yourself whereas standing with a handheld small container nobody notices you're just another passerby so you can in fact when you're standing people are less inclined to look over your shoulder so that's another that's my urban sketching kit thank you and goodbye